So here is my fire starting tin. One of the things you'll notice straight away, even though I said, you know, I use this when I want to do it without a lighter, is that I actually do include a lighter. Very simple reason for this. If I fail with everything else, I always have a backup. A couple of points about this lighter. It's an electric start. It's a bit windy to show the flame right now. And on the other end is a small torch. Okay, it's actually a lot brighter than it looks in the video. Very useful lighter. I recommend this to anyone. You can pick them up for about 30 pence at any pound store, usually in a pack of three. Okay. Next item you'll notice is cotton buds. Lots of cotton buds. Okay. You can soak them in Vaseline for extra go, but these are great little fire lighters because they will catch a spark lovely. These catch a spark almost as easily as char cloth. So we take those out. Come on. Next thing you'll notice, hopefully, is the kindling. This is Maya stick, so I've processed down to a manageable size. Always useful to keep a supply of dry kindling on you in a waterproof tin. That way, you don't have to worry if it's pissing down the rain. You'll still have something dry to get the fire going with. And last but not least is the fire steel. Um, this is a very, very useful piece of kit. If you don't have a lighter, generally take a knife to it, give it a good scratch. It'll produce a lovely spark that should ignite most things. Okay? Okay, folks, how to go battening down a piece of wood. You've got your piece of wood. It's too small to really get an axe onto it if you want to cut it this way down. And, you know, if you don't have a saw, what you can do is something called battening. What you need for that is a piece of wood you want to cut, a knife or multi-tool. Generally, I'd recommend using a fixed blade knife because this does tend to put a lot of wobble in folding knives and multi-tools. As you can see, I've used it a bit too much and my blade wobbles now and a piece of wood to use as a batten. Okay, now what you do, take a piece of wood, put it on a nice firm surface, preferably a rock, but you can do it pretty much anywhere. Put your knife on top, take a piece of wood, and just kind of batten on the top of the blade like so. And it will go through the wood like a hot knife through, well, a piece of wood in this case. Just like so, put it on top. Now, this is a great way to process down kindling, you know, either to use straight away or put in your fire starting box. Um, so yeah, that's how to batten a piece of wood. Okay folks, we're going to do a bit of fire lighting now, uh, using the contents of my fire tin, what we will be putting down, a couple of clumps of cotton wool, let's make it four just for good measure, and then we'll be going on to some various pieces of tinder, I'm going to use maya sticks today because it's been raining all day and most of the wood I've collected is absolutely soaking. So uh, we'll start it off with Maya on cotton, hopefully get a nice fire going, maybe put a brew on, something like that. Okay, so here we go. One spark and we are going. Look at that go. So I'm just going to get the Maya sticks on there just to get them actually going and then we will uh, surround it with the fire shield and go over to put in various pieces of wood I've collected on there. The Maya sticks will work as an accelerant to actually get these going. It's like the fire lighters you use on a barbecue. They're not the main fuel but they will get the main fuel going.
and we start with small sticks you don't want to go chucking big sticks on straight away because they just won't catch especially when it's wet one of the things you want to make sure of when lighting a fire is that there's nothing flammable underneath it in the case of this fire I've cleared off all the moss on this part of the rock um, but if I was doing it in a pine forest I definitely would not want to be doing it on the ground because there's a lot of debris on there that will catch as you can see I'm just kind of liberally sprinkling my twigs in for now obviously you don't want to put too much on straight away because you will drown the fire especially when using wet wood like I am today all that lovely white stuff you see coming off is going straight into my eyes And we have a raging fire on the go now. Okay, folks, you can see here uh, my fire in action. See, right at the bottom there, lovely bed of hot embers. Let me just give that a poke just to get the sticks down into them. That fire now is good enough to cook on. And then what you would do is get your frying pan or pot or other cooking in in implement you've already raised the legs on the inside and you would literally just kind of seat it in there let the fire do its business the payoff for all of our hard work a lovely cup of coffee in the middle of nowhere relaxing, chilling, enjoying the sights, enjoying the sounds of nature good night folks What you can do is something called battening. What you need for that is a piece of wood you want to cut, a knife or multi tool. Generally, I'd recommend using a fixed blade knife because this does tend to put a lot of wobble in folding knives and multi tools. As you can see, I've used it a bit too much and my blade wobbles now. And a piece of wood to use as a batten. Okay, now what you do take a piece of wood, put it on a nice firm surface, preferably a rock, but you can do it pretty much anywhere. Put your knife on top, take your piece of wood, and just kind of batten on the top of the blade like so. And it will go through the wood like a hot knife through, well, a piece of wood in this case. Just like so, put it on top. This is a great way to process down kindling, you know either to use straight away or put in your fire starting box um, so yeah that's how to batten a piece of wood okay folks we're going to do a bit of fire lighting now uh, using the contents of my fire tin what we will be putting down a couple of clumps of cotton wool make it four just for good measure and then we'll be going on to some various pieces of tinder I'm going to use mayor sticks today because it's been raining all day and most of the wood I've collected is absolutely soaking so uh, we'll start it off with mayor on cotton hopefully get a nice fire going maybe put a brew on something like that Okay, so here we go. One spark and we are going. 
Look at that go. So I'm just gonna get the mayor sticks on there just to get them actually going. And then we will uh, surround it with the fire shield and go over to put in various pieces of wood that I've collected on there. The mayor sticks will work as an accelerant to actually get these going. It's like the fire lighters you use on a barbecue. They're not the main fuel, but they will get the main fuel going. Take your piece of wood and just kind of batten on the top of the blade like so. And it will go through the wood like a hot knife through, well, a piece of wood in this case. Just like so, put it on top. This is a great way to process down kindling, you know, either to use straight away or put in your fire starting box. Um, so yeah, that's how to batten a piece of wood. Okay folks, we're going to do a bit of fire lighting now, uh, using the contents of my fire tin, what we will be putting down. A couple of clumps of cotton wool, let's make it four just for good measure. And then we'll be going on to some various pieces of tin. I'm going to use mayor sticks today because it's been raining all day and most of the wood I've collected is absolutely soaking. So uh, we'll start it off with mayor on cotton. Hopefully get a nice fire going, maybe put a brew on, something like that. Okay, so here we go. And we are going. Look at that go. So I'm just gonna get the mayor sticks on there just to get them actually going. And then we will uh, surround it with the fire shield and go over to put in various pieces of wood that I've collected on there. The mayor sticks will work as an accelerant to actually get these going. It's like the fire lighters you use on a barbecue. They're not the main fuel, but they will get the main fuel going. And we start with small sticks. You don't want to go chucking big sticks on straight away because they just won't catch, especially when it's wet. 